Hello, welcome to my new channel, Verero Academy. Today in this video we will see how to create a noun text uh, using GIMP, uh, open source program uh, for photo editing. Um, creating a noun text in a very simple way. So we have to share our desktop. So we have already set uh, our tools uh, one by one and not in groups as uh, GIMP is for default because I find this way uh, uh, faster and more immediate. So let's go to create a new image file so we can do it uh, 644 480 so like a VGI image then we click OK we have purple as, for, as background color because we have selected it but we want uh, as uh, background color black so we have to select as foreground color black and then we use our uh, fill color tool uh, here as you can see we have black and white and uh, we can uh, choose now the black as a foreground color and then we choose uh, we click on the, uh, this uh, fill bucket tool and we do we, we can create a black background so we have to create our text so we create it as with the white color so we have to uh, click on the swap arrow uh, button we have a white as a foreground color we click on the text tool here and you can see the text tool panel with, with many options like font we, you uh, can choose uh, from various fonts uh, like time new roman 100 for uh, dimension is okay so we click on uh, one point in the image on the image and we can start writing noun gimp but we do it maybe in uppercase like this noun gimp it's okay now we have we want to align it uh, related to the uh, background uh, level so we have to select it you, you see you are selected because you see these small squares on the edges we want to uh, align related to the background level so we click on background level to select it and we choose to align it horizontally and vertically now it's perfectly in the center of the image then we have to create a new transparency layer so we can click on this button you can see here our button for the, uh, from the control uh, layer control panel so we have to create a new layer, we name it Level Intermedio, is the intermediate level. Uh, as a field color we can choose uh, uh, foreground color, in this case is white, or we can choose foreground color, in this case black, but we want a transparency. So a new transparent layer uh, in the middle. So we have to select our name GIMP level, with the right button we uh, choose alpha to selection. Alpha to selection means uh, we can select everything that is not transparent. It's not transparent. So the text in this case, we click on the level intermediate, intermediate level. Uh, so we have we keep the selection and uh, we can make it visible clicking on this little eye the layer now game. So we have to um, enlarge this selection. So um, we can uh, we can go to uh, modify uh, sorry to we can go to select here and uh, choose enlarge here you can choose how to enlarge three pixels is okay so you will see the selection will enlarge its, uh, its dimension it's okay yes it's okay it's enlarged as you can see so we have to fill it, to fill the selection with the name color we want. So we want to choose uh, like uh, a purple, like this purple. Then you can uh, change it as you prefer here. Okay. Uh, and you have here HTML code if you want to use it in other application. <coughs> so we have to click, we have to select it. Okay, it has foreground color. Okay, and then we can choose the uh, color fill or paint bucket. Uh, here you can see the options. Fill it with the foreground color. 
and then we um, yes fill with the entire selection then we click the selection and the entire selection will fill will be filled with uh, the color we want yes it's okay select click on select and none okay to remove the selection now you have to go to uh, filter because we have to uh, apply a filter uh, a, a blur filter so we have to with the intermediate level selected blur gaussian blur okay the simplest blur the gaussian blur you can as you can see it's already blurred but you can choose the uh, entity of the blur so i think for as amount is okay yes as you can see we click ok and uh, now we can uh, visible you can make visible the uh, neon game player it's okay um, so we can duplicate we can duplicate the uh, level intermediate the intermediate level in order to duplicate also the effect of the blur yes as you can see is amplified because we duplicate the a layer but you also duplicate the dupli, uh, you can duplify the uh, uh, the effect of the of the blur so you have to outline our text so we go to alpha to selection with in the noun game player so we have to uh, outline <coughs> the text so we go to uh, modify uh, stroke and we will choose as uh, um, color the uh, black color so we have to uh, click on the swap arrow key and uh, we can stroke uh, as three it's okay three pixel we click to stroke yes uh, we have created a black line around the right as you can see so we can go to select the none to remove the selection yes and then now we can create, uh, uh, we can click on the right button. Uh, uh, you can do an, a unique image, then you can, yes, also uh, create a new image and export it. You can click on file export, export like. Uh, you can choose the name like neon.jpg. Uh, uh, and uh, mm, you will see a pop-up uh, opening uh, in order to choose the quality click on export yes we have already uh, named it saved it so it's okay and here we have your pop-up for the quality you click you can leave it as you see you can click on export and you have uh, we have uh, finished okay guys that's all for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it uh, i invite you to leave a like to subscribe the channel um, to get the notification of the next uh, simple videos that we will come and i thank you and i date you in the next uh, video thank you very much bye